Jai Hind everyone, welcome again to the Petrotic IS. Let's start our IS pieces for our daily current affairs. Under that, we will discuss, then we will provide the analysis and notes for the revision. After that, uh, we also include the a men's answer writing question, men's practice question, so that you can write. And we will provide the model answer. Today we have provided the question for the ethics. So it will be for the GS paper 4. There could be the diversification GS paper 1 to GS paper 4. We will varying the questions. Okay. So please write and we have provided the model answer for the same. We have also included the prelims practice question. Near about 7, 8 questions has been provided. So this will be all about. So let's start with the topic that we are, we are going to cover for the today's session. We will start with the first news that is on the front page and it is for the electoral bond. So already we have covered a lot of about the electoral bond. So that will be not that much relevant. So we will not go into the detail. Just know the what is this uh, recent electoral bond has been, uh, how there has been connection with the code and the party. So just in the very brief manner. Okay. After that, there is the attack on the Russia so we will see that the terrorist attack, the, that terrorist group belong from the which group and yes, its ideology and what is its history. So it will be for the IR and mainly it could be helpful into the prelims as well as men's prelims because you should know the, uh, the uh, geographical location. Okay, men's, men's because you should know that how the fight is going between the different terrorist group ideology and the into the Middle East, that is the West Asia. After that, we will study that the does a specific bacteria subtype derive the colorectal cancer, cancer progression. So here we will try to know that the bacteria, so it, it increase the progression of the cancer, so it will be for the prelims. Then we will study the rules that is framed by the DGCA and this is the regulatory authority for the airline so here it has been the there has been the we have seen that the capacity uh, of the pilots that was overburdened and that's why there was the vulnerability and there could be the chances of the accident and that's why we have brought the guidelines so that we can meet some of the relief for the pilot so it will be for the mains GS paper 3 then we will study that how bad is the humanitarian crisis into the Gaza continuously it is going on. So today we will study with respect to the humanitarian crisis. So it will be for the means Gaza is so much into the news that why we will try to study all the perspective so that if in the mains question comes on this basis you can solve. So GS paper 2, uh, this will help into GS paper 2 IR. Then we will study who may vote for the home uh, from home in the legislative assembly. So we will see that the, some of the uh, vulnerable groups such as the elderly people and the disabled people, they can vote from the home. So it will be for the prelims. So, th so that we could know that what are the basic characteristics of the, this plan and beside that for the means we will study that what are the reform that uh, you, uh, that election commission is bringing so that it make the election process more inclusive and more democratic tendencies could be inculcated. So this will be for the mains, but the, you should know the group and their age group and their uh, their parameters. So it will be for the prelims. Okay. After that, we will study that the arrest of the Arvind Kejriwal and how he he was considered at the profit of the probity, but how the political compulsion has made the such a ground that he has been arrested for the bribery and the corruption and money laundering. Look the irony of this. So it will be for the men's ethics paper, GS paper 4. Okay. Then we will study that uh, uh, there has been given the uh, uh, personality of K. Pon Mundi and he is the Stalin man. Here just we will try to know that the uh, who is the Periyar. Um, so okay, so here just it will be helpful into the post-independence India. So it will be for the prelims as well as for the means you should know the personality of Peria that is very important. Then we will study the disposal out of Africa may have occurred during the arid period. So there is the new view how the 
human evolved though we are the human and we have evolved very recently this is not that much it is just around the 80 90000 or year ago that human started disposing from the its main origin point of the africa to the other part of the world so it will be previously it was considered that it was not the arid period it was the humid and it is the rainy season wet period that was the main uh, main time so it will be helpful into the ancient history as well as you can uh, study is as perspective of the science as well basic science so okay so it will be for the prelims then we will study the uh, study with respect to the anemia that is prevalence into the uh, eight states okay so we will see that which state that is on the top so it will be for the prelims okay and after that we will study that how the ai can be used for the classification of the neem fruit that is based on the azadi rachitin okay so this is the azadi rachitin content that that is used for the bio pesticide okay so it will be for the prelims so let's start with the front page so front page talk about the bjp made the bribes legal through electoral bonds say the congress so here there has been the congress has tried to establish different companies that has paid the the electoral bond submitted the electoral bond the funding by the electoral bond they have or they have after getting the contract or they have been assigned with the sum of the contract so here it is given that the congress is alleging that bjp has promoted and legalized this uh, 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 corruption and illegal money and the funding of the political parties as the legal means okay so this is the mainly uh, mainly allegation from the opposition party congress so here it has alleged that the, there has been the method of the prepaid postpaid and the post rate bribe means first pay then you will get the contract okay you will get the contract after that please pay that okay and the, there will be the government agencies such as the ed and cbi they will raid down the companies and after that the companies are forced to pay into the form of the electoral bond because as for that it was not about to be declared but it was the supreme court who forced these uh, uh, sbi to please declare that who have paid to whom and what was the money so here this is the case here who is going to face the mainly vulnerability who are the donor and the companies the only beneficiary in all this case is the political party they get the money they get the power so there he has been all that has been uh, provided here Here there is the concept of the cell uh, cell company. So what are the cell company? Cell company are the those fake company. They are made on the name of they are going to do business activity, but in the reality they do not do any business activity. They just show that yes they have the sum of the paid up capital and they are on the loss. That's why they don't have to pay the taxes and they have consumed. They will show that all the money was gone gone into the wastage. Okay, for example. they will like the they will just in their fake manner they will show that we have uh, we have established a company and they will show that yes we have brought the input of the uh, 2000 crores and uh, due to the sum of the recession or something like that we do not able to pay a, a, a sale of all this uh, thing and that's why we came to the zero so all is the loss so they don't have to give the the give the tax on this because if you have you don't have the benefit you don't have to pay and beside that they 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 divert all this money for the other activities such as the funding other activities such as the funding or the changing the black money into the white money this is the process that is that is used okay so here it has given that the different companies who were given the Uh, uh, there has been given different companies and after getting the contract they have paid the electoral bond of the different worth of the money so here it has estimated that near about to uh, uh, total about to uh, yes here this is in the case of the bharat rashtra samiti so here near about the 6 lakh of the contract that has been given and for that there has been the money and uh, yes in the form of the electoral bond or the funding has been done so this is all about from the this news this is not yeah here it is given that the this near about 3.8 lakh crore of the money was uh, uh, the contract worth was given and after that there was the transfer of the electoral bond okay so this is all about so this is the way that the 
political class, polity, political system in India is function. Here it is given a case of the Bharat Rashtra Samiti of the Telangana. Okay, so this this political party also was talking about the free and fair election, but that is not uh, that is not reflecting as for the matching of the those bond that was given to the party and the contract assigned. The contract was assigned just after that as the gift money the electoral bond was given. And in the many case there was the red on the companies and after that there was the purchase they purchased the electoral bond and they they have paid it to the uh, political party. Okay. Here there has been given for the use of the herbal color and in the holy, so you all should follow. And they are made up of the mustard, leaf, coriander, spinach, uh, beetroot, mulberry, turmeric, rose. Okay, so if the UPSC asks that these are the uh, these are the inputs like the mustard, leaves, coriander, spinach, all these are used to make the herbal color. So yes, that will be correct. So please be careful. The second is thing that the, whenever you go for the chemicalized form of the color, so there is the cases that you will face the nausea, headache, itching, and the skin irritation. So today, uh, tomorrow is the holy. So please be very, very careful, and you should you should uh, you should avoid the chemical form of the color, and you should go for the this herbal color. Okay. Then we will go for the, there has been the attack into the Moscow and it is, it is, uh, responsibility is taken by the ISIK. So we will study into the very detail that uh, the, the group, the terrorist group ISISK, uh, what is its uh, historical background and what is its Id ideology. So all we will study, why it is behind the attack, why they are attacking the Russia. So all we will study. So let's start with the, that area. So let's know that what is the basic about this ISISK, what is K stand for, and why did it attack the Moscow Theater? What is the enmity with the Moscow? So we will start with the name and why, what is standing, uh, stand for the K. IS, I, uh, ISISK stand for the Islamic State Khorasan. And what is this Khorasan? This is the region that include the Iran, Turkmenistan, and Afghanistan. So please remember this is the ancient, uh, ancient region and it includes these three parts. So please uh, be very important. This ISISK, this emerged into the eastern Afghanistan into the late 2014 but it became weaker after the attack from the US as well as the Taliban. It has the enmity with the both. It has a difference with the on the religion on the uh, Taliban as it has the difference on the ideology with the US. So both uh, both started attacking and that's why it's weakened and that's why it has not that much a threat but now uh, into the moderate level it, ha it has been continuously attacking. So there has been the uh, various attack for example it attacked the into the Iran okay so there was the suicide bombing into the Russian embassy in Kabul as well as there was attack on the Kabul's international airport by this ISISK. Okay, so a lot of, uh, lot of, uh, uh, there has been a lot of attack from the, this, even they have attacked the Iran because they considered themselves as the uh, uh, advocate of the Isla, uh, Sunni Islam. So please be very, uh, be very careful, they represent the Sunni Islam. Okay, why they are attacking the Rasa? This is the question. They are attacking because of, uh, they have the, they are against the President Vladimir Putin and its propaganda, particularly with respect to the, there is the region into the Rasa that is known as the Chechenya, and there has been the insurgency, and there is the demand for the separate state of the Chechenya, and again, the most of the population there is the uh, Sunni Islam. Okay, they represent the Sunni Islam, Sunni Muslim. So that's why there has been the or there has been the antagonism against the Putin. As well as they think that there has been the complicity of the Rasta into the activity that oppress the Muslim and basically it is into the Chechenya. Okay. And also there has been the some of the personal grievance of the those who are the member of ISISK and this is the also causing the attack attack they have the personal grievance against the Moscow they have faced some of the activities against them so this is the collective uh, reason for the, all these things okay 
Next news that is from the Varanasi. This this all shows that this is uh, this is the this is the scene from the Masan Holi. You must have been knowing the Masan Holi. They are the celebration of the death. Okay, so generally there is the fear and scare of the death, but uh, under the Masan Holi they try to celebrate the death as well, and they also give a positive sense of the death means this is the a uh, this is not the end of everything this is the there is a process this is the part of the life cycle so you should respect they also this is also representing the uh, a sense of the purity and impurity so please uh, you should understand and here under that they use the ashes of the pious and the gulal okay for the celebration and they also there is the slogan the sing the chanting of the had had mahadev and uh, yes this is into the a uh, different ghats this is celebrated at the different ghats of the vanasi vanasi is known that the spiritual capital of the india so please remember this spiritual capital of india who is known uh, which city is known as the spiritual capital it is the vanasi so this will be this is important for the prelims okay so here in the vanasi many comes for the they take the holy bath into the river ganga and they believe that they cleans their they are seen uh, okay so and bestow divine blessing all this thing that is conceded so please remember all this thing this masan holy you should know this is very clear this is the next important news that we will take is that the dutch a specific bacteria subtype derived the colorectal cancer and here we will study that what is the name of the bacteria that is increasing the progression of this colorectal cancer so the name of this bacteria is the fusobacterium nucleatum okay so please remember this is the bacteria it is important for the prelims they can ask that if this bacterium is found there is the more chances of the death due to the cancer and this is the leading cause of the death into the us the second largest cause of the death into the us so here it is uh, written that the second leading cause of the cancer death into the uh, us okay so please remember that this uh, this uh, this 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 create the very negative condition and yes there is the condition that even after the cure there will be the re emergence of the tumor and this will cause the a uh, fatal uh, fatal casualty on the uh, due to the this cancer so please remember all this thing there is the very poor survival and the progno, uh, prognosis as compared to the those who have uh, those uh, patient who don't have this bacteria so this bacteria this excess uh, beat the condition of the cancer so next important news that we will take is the how bad is the humanitarian crisis in the gaza, uh, gaza okay so we will study with respect to the humanitarian perspective how what are the different to uh, uh, humanitarian support effort has been made and what is the condition so just we will focus on that earlier from the this news this uh, this brought the what is the case that the as per the eu foreign policy chief called it the largest open air graveyard and even the un has warned that there is the chances that there could be the famine into the gaza okay so this is the condition the condition is that till now there has been the death of near about the 32 uh, palestinian a uh, 32000 palestinian and out of this most of them are the women and the children the second is that the injuries 74000 people has been uh, seriously injured this is the condition 2 million people has been the internally displaced and yes there has been the destruction of the houses of the near about the 3 lakh of the houses so here this is the condition that the 3 lakh of people are out of their home because their their home their houses has been destroyed due to the bombing and the selling so this is the condition okay so here the main thing is that if you will go through the food security there has been the wide spread the malnutrition it is due to the destruction of the all the source of the income so here it is given that uh, near about the malnutrition that was absent into the palestine in this gaza area it has reached to the 16% of the total population and it is the 
acute means it is on the it's the severe form it's resulting into the death now okay so this is the condition and that's why it is caused that a million of the people at the risk of the facing catastrophic hunger this is the level okay so here it is given that uh, besides that they, this has exacerbated due to the border restriction israel has blocked the border the people are not able to move into the other area so that they could get the relief neither the trucks are able the relief I, you have destroyed economy you have destroyed agriculture field you have destroyed the uh, fisheries everything has been destroyed here it is given that the it had destroyed everything crippling the fishing industry because the port has been uh, attacked post has been dist uh, destroyed okay uh, there has been the crop land they have uh, they have not into the normal condition they have bombed they have uh, they have destroyed this crop and uh, the uh, the field as well okay so this is the level and beside that uh, you have destroyed everything there is no government institution there is no economic activities so the people are one relied on the aid okay the support from the outside the food packages from the outside the health services health uh, essential from the outside but the they are also not able to get because they have blocked the border as well they have opened just one of the point for example in your city if every uh, every roads are blocked only one road has been opened even there is a lot of checks and a lot of control what will happen there will be the congestion there will be the uh, there will be the uh, the the, uh, the population will push to the for a large or uh, larger waiting period okay due to the discongestion there will be the chaos that is all going on into the going into the gaza okay this is the condition here even though there has been the humanitarian tragedy because there is the war and battle is going on and in between if there is the if they are going to provide the aid and assistance so what will happen there is the chaos and in that chaos there is the stampede that is taking place and there has been the 10 uh, hundred people died when there was the when there uh, when there was uh, there was a event in, under that a truck was reached as the place where the people was waiting for the humanitarian assistance for the food and other essential when they start uh, when they start distributing this um, food product and essential there was the sum of the chaos and after that the israeli force they fired and after that there was the there was the they uh, they they tried to move they tried to run and they run on each other and that resulted into the stampede okay so 100 people died so the case is that despite there has been a lot of uh, support and aid that has been provided but the, this aid is not uh, reaching to the people for example there uh, at least on a daily basis there has been the 700 truck that goes for the for the aid assistance but the very few they reach to the people they have been the choked outside the border okay beside that the thing is that uh, uh, there has been the death of the U, uh, UN personnel, those who are providing the assistance, and they are facing the malnutrition. They have gone there to provide the assistance, but they have trapped into the situation. They themselves are not getting the assistance, and that's why they are also facing the, uh, uh, the malnutrition and uh, hunger. Uh, hunger. Uh, hunger. Okay. So here there has been the death of the hundred employees from the EU and this is the very unique information you should remember and whenever you are going to write this on the humanitarian effort and what is the condition in the Gaza you can use all these things this gives you your answer in new so the next important news that we are going to take is this the why DG CA forms on the new rest rule for the pilot. So this is into the context of that. There has been the demand from the 
Airlines Association that please uh, delay the notification for the rules that has been brought by the DGCA with respect to the pilots and the different uh, rest time and uh, working condition that is provided to the pilot. So why? Uh, so what are the new rules? So you should know that uh, about the new rule. This talk about that there will be the rest time that previously that was provided by the 36 hour. Now it will be provided by the 48 hour. This is the first thing. Besides that, there will be the night time flying has been reduced. So there has been the reduction because it uh, it should be the causing the it is causing the fatigue and to reduce the fatigue, they are going to give the this uh, uh, reduction in this landing. Six landing was previous. Now they uh, they are reduced to the two landing into the one night. So this is the thing. Okay. So why it is it is going to affect the circadian rhythm? and affect the alertness level. What is the circadian level, this rhythm, this is like the, there is the clock in your body and body, mind and yes, all the parts of the body, they accumulate, they function as for the different functions we do into the different time period. For example, in the night we sleep. So at that particular time, our uh, uh, less active, our body parts, different uh, different cells, they becomes the less uh, active in general. And whenever there is the high activities, the body will be automatically it will get the response that yes, there will be the high energy we needed, so they are activated. So this is the a circadian rhythm and when you sleep in the that particular time for example if you are sleeping be, uh, between the 10 pm to the 6 am and if you will not sleep in that particular uh, period so your activity your body will not respond suddenly think that one day into the month you decided that in this period i will do something you must have felt that there is the uh, so much of uh, you will be not active if you are working in that particular time and that's why we say that you should practice your uh, mock test of the prelims and mains as per the time of the time of the UPSC. For example, it is 9.30 to 11.30 for the GS paper 1. So that you can maintain your circadian rhythm as per your, you can habitate and when you will appear into UPSC, you will be more active as per the, your attempt for the UPSC prelims question. So this is just a, uh, yeah, this you have to be uh, taken seriously. You should t take it seriously. The other rule is that night's time shift has been extended between the 6 a.m. to the 5 a.m. It was uh, lat, uh, previously it was uh, till the 6 a.m. So now it has reduced to the one hour. This is also good move. This will give relax to the pilot. Okay, maximum flight duty f uh, for the flight overlapping night has been reduced from the 10 to the 8 hours. So there has been the reduction of the two hours. So they will get the total the rest time will they get to, uh, get to the six. And beside that there will be the there is the ban on the consecutive uh, night duties means it is not that uh, for the uh, if today is the 24 so if i am working to the night duty for the two day for the tomorrow i i should be given um, uh, my uh, working time into the day so that i could slip into the uh, night okay so this is the thing so mainly it is for the circadian rhythm that have to be maintained sufficient sleep time that should be given okay so here due to the if there will be the uh, they are going to fly consecutive nights without the resting so there will be the sleep date the sleep time maybe you have the sleep uh, time of this eight hours and one day you sleep just four hours so there is the uh, there is the liability <laughs> on you for the four hours you have to this uh, time will be accumulate okay so this is the, the reason that uh, they are going to they are go going to ban on the consecutive night duty okay so Besides that, airlines are required to publish the roster sufficiently in advance. What is the roster? Means it is the duty timing that when you have to appear, what will be the your day, uh, the uh, days on that you will be, you will have to go on to the duty. So this has been uh, just uh, 12 hours. That is the time period they give. So uh, there is the demand that please increase from the 12 hour just before the 12 hour we cannot plan everything so at least there should be the sufficient time given to the pilots exit exit a number of the hours has not defined so this is the thing that should be the reform that should be the imp uh, that should improve okay so there will be also the uh, this uh, DGCA also requires for the fatigue risk management system and it will help into the monitoring and reporting of the 
flight crew fatigue okay so it will give that uh, what is the different uh, different number uh, what is the number of the pilots that have reported such thing how many they have the complaint all things that will be there and so that there could be the improvement on that area so this is the thing that uh, dgca want to achieve okay after that why are the airlines opposed to it the first thing is that normal thing for, for the common sense if you are going to reduce the working hour, hour of the, your employee what will happen you need to hire more employee you need more money you need more administrative expenditure as well not only the employer to administer the employer employee employ, you need to ex, uh, you need to hire extra supporting staff and uh, other other uh, um, employees okay so workers so there is the there is the cascading and there will be the uh, there will be the increase in their expenditure the, the number of the employee that is needed so they are asking that uh, there could be the increase in the demand of the 15 to 25 percent of the more pilots and they have not time but the dgca has said that we have given you sufficient time of the six month time for the implementation and this hiring and everything training everything need not more than four months so in the four months you can do and we have provided six months so what is the issue you should do you should go and you should go or you should go and you should implement all this thing okay so this is here there is the there is the cases where there has been the uh, one of the death of the pilot recently we saw into the uh, indigo pilot he uh, he uh, he reported that he fell unconscious at the boarding gate and after that he passed away so this is the case okay so pilot note that an increase in flying over the past five years especially with the growing route network beyond the uh, metro so there is has been the increased pressure and workload on the pilot for the last uh, last five uh, last five years so there it has reported that the uh, beside that here it is given that the pilot face the uncertainty uh, certainty uh, certainty into the roster they just provided 12 hours before so they are asking uh, for the a longer period out of time means if i have to work into the uh, company i am working so uh, before if they are providing every time that i have to work between the 10 a.m to the 6 p.m on the sunday monday tuesday and on the saturday and uh, sunday maybe i will get from the monday to uh, friday i have to work in the this timing and the week off when i will get uh, get otherwise into the most of this company you will find that there is the no defined many a times if they are not the, they are not following a standard rule there is the confusion they create uh, they keep it creating confusion uh, confusion with respect to the week off and the working days the timing many of the companies many of the these uh, companies work in a such a harsh manner so here the roster time uh, that is provided uh, before just 12 hours this is needed to be uh, there is the need to be enhanced so that if i am not feeling well for the two day tomorrow i can ask that i cannot work because in the case of the refusal if they are not accepting the duties after the roster they will uh, they, there could be the chances that they will be uh, there will be the disciplinary action against them okay so uh, okay so here it is the exceeding the maximum duty hours and in the inadequate rest period that is causing the different type of the complications such as the chances of the accident into the airlines and that's why uh, this has been brought and dgc has uh, seen that uh, there has they have find the st lock for the such labs discovered during the spot check into the january and after that there has been uh, that the action has been taken okay here it is given that uh, how many of the the pilots that they are working and how what are the need into the future near about there is the 771 aircraft and the 9524 pilots and there is expectation that there will be the uh, they, the number will be become the two times of the uh, by the 2030 so there will be the need of the 10900 more pilots okay so this is the condition there will be the more aircraft need for the more aircraft all these things and that's why it's become that uh, the more this regulation for the these airlines uh, should be uh, should be properly uh, monitored and done so that in the future if there will be the increase in number of the pilots and the aircraft we can easily manage and monitor all these things so this is all about this news okay next important news that we are going to take is the who may from the home in the who may vote 
from the home into the Lok Sabha election. So there is the condition, there is the uh, condition that the who will be eligible for the vote from the home. So this is the comfort that is given to the few of the people who are suffering with the disadvantage. For example, uh, the disabled people as well as the elderly people. Okay. So extension of this vote from the home facility, this is now given to the person with a disability and uh, post, uh, the, those who are the senior citizens. So those person with the disability, what is the needed? Uh, there is the uh, there should be the disability that should not be the less than 40 percent. So what is mean by the not less than 40 percent? For example, if there is the small uh, injury in your hand, so it doesn't mean that you are become disabled. So there is the condition that uh, in the normal function you can uh, do all the things. What will be the condition that your functional capacity will reduce? This is the medical term. Just I am explaining for the, uh, simplicity. So if you are not do uh, move your hand from the this distance, you are not able to uh, 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 to catch something or something like that. When the function you are not able to do that, that will be declared as the 40 percent. So the number of the people who are going to be uh, with the senior citizenship, the number is the 85 lakh, and the person who are with the uh, disability, uh, 88 lakh. So if you will combine both, it will be around 2 crore, something like that. And what is the eligibility for the senior citizenship? It is the 50 years and more. Previously it was 80 years, now it has been increased to the 85 years. So you should remember this is not the 80 years, 85 years. Okay. What is the rational behind thing? The no, no, normal thing that it will increase the inclusivity, inclusiveness. Because the people who are vulnerable, they can also enjoy their rights. This is the main thing. Okay. Besides that, it will provide the flexibility to for the citizens, uh, citi senior citizens, because they have the lot of health complications. They, uh, they can feel the heat stroke during the summer that uh, this so elections are held in India. For example, uh, this is the Lok Sabha election that are mostly held during the summer time. Okay. So previously, this uh, vote from the home uh, facility that was started with the assembly elections, and now it is going to be implemented for the Lok Sabha at the national level. Okay. There has been the cases of the postal ballot option as well. That you can you can you can uh, use the a ballot, a ballot, and you can send after the voting by the post portal system if you are not into the your constituency. So this has been extended to the those media personnel covering the polling days activities. Okay, individual in the essential service such as the metros, railway, healthcare, and service voters such as the armed force personnel and embassy staff. So please remember all these things in the prelims. They can ask that uh, how many of them has been provided with the ballot, postal ballot option. So please remember, this is the first thing. This media postal, they has been now included. Previously, it was only given to the individual with the essential service, such as the work, people who are working to metro railway, because uh, we cannot stop this functioning, because the people are dependent on the metro. So by the ballot system, they can just, uh, uh, they can cast their vote and they can send by the ball, uh, postal system. It's normal, they don't have to take the leave and reach their constituency, and it will take a lot of days, two days, three days, many times, if the people coming from the Kanyakumari, and he is, uh, now he is posted into the Kanyakumari, and he have to he have to his constituency is into the West Bengal so he has to go a long distance okay so this will save not only the days but also the money expenditure that a person need to uh, need to uh, travel they have to spend on its travel okay what is the process so how they uh, you can uh, how the this can be uh, applied so uh, there is the form 12d so please remember form 12d this is associated with the what uh, this is associated with the vote from the home facility so this is uh, this is already uh, uploaded at the ECI election commission of india website and after the filling all this thing you can uh, you can download here from the election commission website but you have to submit to the assistant returning officer so here this is this is being criticized that why the people have to go uh, to the assistant returning officer because it will create the extra burden. Instead of that, there should be the online filling uh, system as well and on online submitting system as well. Okay. And uh, this should be submitted within five days from the notification of the polling days. So you should be careful because uh, there is the need for the preparation and that's why it needs the prior, uh, prior information. Okay. So what will be the procedure for this uh, vote from the home? 
so you can see that uh, at the time there will be the uh, two polling official they will come along with the videographer and the security personnel at your home if you are eligible for that and uh, yes they will uh, the electors home to be oversees the postal ballot voting process okay the thing is that uh, here uh, already you will be provided with the date and timing when these uh, these officers will come to your home and uh, if at the first time you will be not found at your home they will come again for the second time so this shows that the lot of effort is needed the people for the one voting two polling officials videographer security personnel all they will come all with uh, this shows the respect for the democracy in our country as well means if you are writing for the democratic credential of the india you can provide this thing that how much we respect our voters that for the one voters two polling officer videographer and security personnel will come to your home and they will inform you by the sms on the date and the timing at that uh, they will come so you can be present even if you are not present for the first time for the second time they will again come so this is the thing they will follow the all the rule that is uh, uh, followed as for the conduct of election rules so please remember this is for the electors they have to follow this rules and uh, yes under that rule there should be the uh, they, sh they should ensure the uh, secrecy of voting otherwise it is not that the those uh, political party who are present there they are asking you to cast in front of them so they will ensure that there is the no such thing the person who is going to vote uh, they uh, they are give, uh, they are provided with the sufficient privacy and the secrecy so that other can cannot know even despite they are at their home but no one will be able to know that how they are going to vote okay and uh, yes prevent any influence on the electors so th that will be provided what is the suggestion concern and the suggestion the first thing is that the form submission need to uh, with the aro or the both uh, booth level officer so this is creating if i am disabled person if i am going to submit i would have been gone for the voting itself this is like now going to the voting just to us uh, you are uh, you are just uh, saving my time to uh, keep myself into the queue for the voting otherwise i have to go to the officer this is more more the, uh, difficult task to go and submit the because the, there is very less chances that the, the officer will be available in their office at least time of the uh, polling there is the polling booth and if you will be is uh, you will wait into the queue you will get the time after the time you will get the chance but there is the this is creating a bureaucratic hurdle so this should be removed beside that there is the awareness gap and procedural challenge awareness gap is that neither all this rule is uh, being uh, aware or the is spread or the it has been the is spread to the uh, uh, to the people like the disabled people or the elderly people they are not aware of all these rules and facility so uh, so the government need to aware this uh, people as well as the official many a times official don't know about this rules they do not follow the rules so they are also needed to be aware of all this thing logistic challenge because the you think that two two officials one videographer one uh one uh, that uh, security person will go with the, all this task though there will be the need of the logistic hiccups okay so there will be the need of the coordinating the request from the person scheduling moving equipment around them because all this thing has to be uh, they have to carry with uh, for the voter so this is the thing that is the main thing and was uh, yeah capacity of the existing machinery is not as per the, the facility we are providing okay so here the most important thing is the awareness generation here massive uh, level of the awareness that is needed to be provided okay so this is all about that has been into the this news this is very important for the prelims you should know that who are the people who have been provided with the, this ballot uh, ballot a uh, postal ballot system as well as the vote from the home so vote from the home and the uh, uh, postal ballot system they are the a type of the thing the tool that is strength in our democracy so whenever you are writing for your main answer you can use all these points next important news that we are going to take is from the uh, this uh, post personalities so now two days we have the personality arvind kejriwal it is talking about that the, the prophet of the probity he was considered as the advocate of the uh, movement against the corruption the end of the corruption but the thing is that 
the, there is the irony that the same person that has been booked and now he is into the custody of the ED for the corruption charges and the money laundering. So before entering into the session, uh, we will start with the know the what has been his, uh, uh, his background. So he was born in 1968, that is not important, but yes, he was the qualified for the IIT as well as he was part of the Indian Revenue Services. So he has a very good educational background that reflects that and yes, he started, uh, he was dil uh, disillusioned with the, the civil services and he think that the, these all the offices are the fill up with the corrupt people and the bribery. So he left the job and he started the activism. He think that the activism is very important. So he started activism with respect to the uh, anti-corruption and the Yes, he received the Raymond Maxese Award in 2006 as well. Okay, so he uh, mainly he was uh, after that he come to the national prominence uh, in the India against the corruption movement, and it was led by the led by the Anna Hazare, and he was the main right hand of the this movement. Uh, okay, so it was talking about the uh, bring the Lokpal, so that Lokpal can can investigate against the bureaucrats if there is a corruption as well as the minister and the chief minister and the prime minister. Every officer is, every ministry should be under the Lokpal. So this was the thing after that the this uh, movement reached to the national level, it intensified and then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, he started the talk, he started the uh, deal with the these uh, movement, the person of the this movement, and uh, they try to frame a uh, bill. And uh, yes, in this uh, uh, this uh, drafting committee, K J Rival was also included, but he resigned. He uh, resigned because he think that he was not uh, allowed to give his suggestions. Okay. So, okay, so the, uh, after the escalation of this movement, there was the uh, formation of the Aam Admi Party. Uh, this is the political party that was formed. They, this was, uh, it was opposed by the many of the insiders, like the Anna Hajari himself was not in the favor of the, this AAP. And uh, yes, later Anna Hajari was less in line. And it was thought that the AAP as the political entity, it will enter into the politics and it will clean the politics from the inside. Okay. So this need that the, all the political parties should do be uh, clean and that's why some political party need to enter as the very clean image so they can give the message. They can be inspiration for the others. On the, that thought, it was entered. Okay. So if you will compare with the same type of the prominence or uh, such type of the movement and after that the political party was formed, it was the Telugu Desam party that was formed as well as there was the uh, so uh, some uh, uh, gun punished into the Assam. They both form and they come into the power uh, success after just their movement. Okay. So the uh, views on the any of the ideology, uh, Kejriwal do not go for the any ideology. He think that there should be the realistic politics and the ideology bring the dogmatic belief and this is not good. Uh, there should be the uh, there uh, there should be the freedom from the any of the ideology. Okay. What is his political position? Okay, he is not uh, strictly uh, it strictly follow any of the ideology or the any of the political position. He sometimes saw himself in the left, sometimes into the right. So there is no uh, a fixed point of the political position. Okay, and he keeps shifting his uh, rhetoric as well. Okay, so. What is the policy position? Even in the policy position, he supported the uh, ab abolition, abrogation of Article 370. But yes, he was against the Delhi Service Bill. So in the uh, in the name of the federalism, here he was uh, he stand was one time against the uh, federal principle and one time with the uh, with the, this Delhi Secretary Bill, he was on the uh, on the line of the federalism, strong federalism. Okay. So here the political success now the uh, now this uh, our party is the national party as he is the state party into the fourth state and uh, for the qualifying as the national party you need to be uh, recognized at the state level into the fourth state now he has the uh, recognition of the state level party into the Delhi Punjab at the, in these two states they have the government in the Goa and the Gujarat they got a substantial amount of the vote so that they, ha they are declared as the national party. Okay. 
what is the current political affiliation affiliation now they started their journey with the criticizing and opposing the congress now they are uh, they have the alliance with the congress now and even the congress uh, criticized uh, the bjp government on the arrest of the kejriwal okay the thing is that now that all this uh, our party was controlled uh, with the single handedly by the arvin kejriwal and if he is into the jail this will be a crisis situation for the uh, there is no uh, alternative or alternate leaders because he didn't uh, devolve the power to the other leader mostly he took the uh, decisions by the his own under his own uh, uh, dominance and that's why there is the chances that yes if uh, he will be there into the jail for the longer time so there is the chances that yes uh, our party there is a existential crisis okay so on this the political corruption all this thing there is the chances because there is the lot of uh, 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 this uh, news like the huge misuse of the eds political funding electoral bond all this has brought this thing that the political funding and uh, yes transparency and accountability of the political parties into the public domain for the lord's time and that's why there is chances that the upsc can ask the question based on this so we have a mains question you can you can attempt okay so please solve this question discuss the ethical dilemma faced by the political parties in balancing the need of the electoral funding with the risk of compromising integrity and accountability especially in the context of the electoral bond controversy and undisclosed funding sources okay so this is the question this is talking about the ethical dilemma what is the ethical dilemma the political party need the money for the different activities they do like the campaigning their administration their functioning their uh, their day to day expenditure all this their travel uh, expenditure all this need the money and they comes from the funding okay so first thing is that they need but how this electoral funding is uh, availed is there is the transparent method are they accountable for the, their uh, political funding so he would this create the dilemma and that's why we have seen the lot of controversies and undisclosed funding sources and this political parties are not ready to come under the right to information this is the case okay so you can start with the recent supreme court judgment okay introduce with the recent context of the supreme court judgment and supreme court judgment it's uh, said that the right to information for the electorates and the voters is the fundamental right that comes under the article uh, this article 19 as well as it is a part of article 21 as well okay so then it bring the uh, you have to bring the ethical dilemma they are facing okay how they have to balance this uh, political funding and the disclosure there is the chances that there could be the vengeance or if they will disclose so there is the yes it need to be balanced but the further you have to bring the in implication due to the nature of his scheme such as the electoral bonds and yes if there is the lack of transparency and accountability and in the last you can conclude with the comprehensive suggestive note that yes this political party themselves need to bring a disclosure they have to follow the internal democracy all this thing you can conclude so this will give you a very effective answer this will make your answer very effective so you have to follow up next important news is this uh, with the k ponmundi he is into the news and his news because there has been the controversy with the governor and the the government of the karnataka so the most important thing you should know is the only thing that i uh, found the relevant in this is the that his association with the uh, his respect and association with the a uh, peria so you should know that peria has a very uh, dominating ro uh, role into the south india particularly with respect to the self respect movement and uh, most all of the dominating party of the tamil nadu either it is aidmk or the dmk they follow the ideal on the yes the movement all the uh, goals of the peria okay so his name was the ev ramasami naikar also known as the periyar or the thanthai periyar okay so he in, with the respect he is known as the thanthai periyar so uh, this is mean by the a reboot person okay so he has he has uh, g uh, brought his imprint in the so many area he was advocate of the rationalism also he rejected the caste 
this hierarchy he was so much uh, uh, against the brahmanical dominance because he faced the personal uh, such personal adversities due to this hierarchy there is the story that when he was visiting to the varanasi at that time kasi he was a bit uh, religious but uh, uh, when he reached to the kasi he lost all the money he didn't have the money and he was the hunger at that particular time there was no source of the money he was a normal man he was not that much famous so what happened he uh, went to the there was a uh, some uh, there was the some of the charity work was going on in that charity work the people was feeding the people so when he reached the there was the lot of priest they were gathered so when he reached so they asked that what is your caste and when he uh, they found that he is from the uh, backward caste they didn't uh, uh, they didn't uh, let him enter and take the uh, food and he was so much hungry he was so much into the pain after that he thought that it is the purity and impurity concept and this is the domination of the brahmins that is the main cause of the exploitation of the marginal caste are the marginal people so he started the self respect movement and for that he considered that the freedom and dignity doesn't come without the self respect okay so for self respect dignity and freedom there is need for the end of this caste system itself okay he was talking about the women's right and also the social equality in the society so he is known for the dravidian movement so he even he reached to the a condition a level when he demanded for the separate nation of the for the dravidian and that is known as the dravidistan okay so he was asking for the separate nation and he thought that uh, uh, the development of the marginal people is only possible if there will be the non brahmin rule so he was of the uh, view and he was so much involved in the anti casteism and rationalism and atheism he didn't believe in the this uh, uh, this religion and the god and he uh, reached to the atheism okay he was talking about the women empowerment so he found that the most oppressed of uh, 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 section of the society are the women and the children and so he was talking about the, their rights as well okay and he was against the child marriage as well okay so for the separatism he got the controversy and uh, okay he was the hindu due to the his hindi opposition so he was thinking that the, this hindi opposition as the national language is against the interest of the local custom and the culture of the south dot people south uh, uh, south, uh, south indian uh, people okay so here the legacy is that there is the social reform movement and in the form of this ideology of the dmk and ai dmk it's still reflected and they also follow the all the ideology that was advocated by the peria so please remember all this thing this is very important for the post independence india as well as it is important for the uh, latter movement of the indian struggle for independence and also the uh, personality as a personality peria is very important next important news is with respect to the dispersal out of the africa this may have occurred during the arid period till now we thought that it is the wet period under that there was a disposal so the uh, the disposal originally the human being they are considered that they were started its journey from the ape to the human from the africa and for the very long period they were into the africa they were confined to the africa but as there was the gradual uh, uh, increase into the uh, this volcano eruption and there was the there was the increase into the arid period due to the, this uh, uh, this increase in the heat of the globe and uh, this particularly it is considered that the toba super volcano that was the main region for the, this dry and arid period during this time this humans comes out of the africa and uh, due to this eruption there was the dry period and uh, the streams and the river that got dried but the due to the there was the some of the water holes and in the water holes there were the fishes and that fishes give uh, 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 become the basis for the survival for example if uh, this is the path of the river that is going on and it if this dries but there is the deep down water holes in that the water will be there into the form of the lake pond anything and here there will be the fishes the the 
at that particular time human doesn't have any method of the agriculture or anything they were hunting and gathering so they were just coming here and they were surviving into the office after that they found few kilometers there is other water holes and they found that they come out of the Africa out of uh, by this method they are following this river path and yes they were coming here to here and they get out of the Africa and they reach the other part of the Africa this is the concept that is given or given out or given now this is considered previously it was found that it is the during the wet period that uh, they followed it was easy for them to go from the one place to other place because the climatic condition was the a bit pleasant as compared to the arid uh, arid time okay so it, this is known as the green corridor okay so here it is given that how they have followed uh, it was during uh, from the uh, they followed the river sinfa into the ethiopia okay so how there has been the uh, there has been evidence that this is from the chipped uh, stones tools okay and animals remains that has been now recently found at it gives that the those time period was the dry period not the wet period and we have found the glass shards and the sediment sample and we have researched and we have found that it was uh, uh, 74000 years back when there was the movement and okay the period it was the period was dry it was uh, ensured by the confirmed by the oxygen isotopes from the ostrich egg cells okay and the fossil mammals teeth uh, okay so all these things that has given and the increased reliance on the fishes because in the this water holes there was the chances of the survivals and yes as they move from the one climatic condition to the other climatic condition they these human beings they source the adaptability in a very excellent manner and yes that's why uh, they have the characteristic or uh, they have the characteristic of the ability to adopt in the behaviorally okay and it was very crucial for the human survival because as they for example they reach into the very cold condition they learn how to live into the cold condition as well when they reach into the very warm condition of the for example into the tropical area yes at that particular time they also learn they try to learn to save themselves from the harsh condition of the heat when they reach into the cold condition they learn how to prevent themselves from the cold harsh condition so this was all about the the, the survival of humans okay now we are going to take the second news that is with respect to the um, anemia prevalence and uh, is uh, is overestimation so what is the reason because we were totally thought that uh, it was the iron deficiency that is the main cause of the anemia but we have found that not it is not the only iron deficiency there is the other causes of the anemia as well so you should know that the highest number of anemia that had been found into the assam this is for the prelims and the lowest into the meghalaya so very important for the prelims perspective okay then it is found that only about one third of the anemic women and the one fifth of the elderly women have the iron deficiency this is the main thing one more thing you should know that this is more into the women as compared to the men anemia is in the both okay so here it is more into the women as compared to the men okay so other cause of the deficiency is like the vitamin one two and folate deficiency that is co cause of the anemia as well so now what it results in so now government was thinking that it is the iron deficiency now we have to think that only we do not have to depend on the iron for the reduction of the anemia we have to search for the some other way okay so this is all about from the this you have to be careful next important news that we are going to take is with respect to this uh, ai help in uh, ai helps cl classify the neem fruit based azadiractin content so what is this azadiractin co content it is helpful and it is the it is reflection of the bio paste okay so it help into the uh, green farming it help into the organic farming because we need uh, we ha uh, we take the this the fruit of the neem so this is the fruit of the neem by that we get the 
HID vaccine. Okay, so this is used at the bio pesticide. Okay, so you don't need for the chemical pesticide. It's reduced the chemicalized form of the pesticide, and that's that's uh, help into the restoration of the health of the soil. So this is very important. So we what we used to know that how much HID vaccine was found, and as for their content, it was decided that how much quantity is needed. So for that to know that we were going for the HPLC uh, method. So this is the high performance liquid chromatography. Okay, so this method was a bit expensive and it was taking a lot of uh, time and a lot of effort. So it was the combosome. So now we are going to use the AI so that we could know that how much this content of azadizactine is there and so that we can we can be precisely decide that how much quantity is needed so please be very careful it is not the leaf but it is the fruit that is the deciding factor so this is all about now we will solve some of the question that we have covered from the topic so let's start with the first question the term khorasan in the name of isisk refers to a historical region compassing the part of afghanistan iran and central asia the modern capital city of the jordan a key muslim pilgrimage site in the region the name of the prominent isi leader here it is region not it it will be the west asia okay so please consider it the west asia so the correct answer for this question as we know that it is the region that is the afghanistan iran and central asia okay so uh, okay so this is very much uh, important so this is in the news so a will be the correct answer the next question is that which of the following state had the highest overall anemia prevalence in the study okay so recent study it has given that it is the assam who has the maximum number of the anemic women and the lowest is into the meghalaya next question is with respect to the consider the following socialism atheism rationalism and brahminical domination how many of the above ideology uh, was was strongly opposed by the paria so the one will be uh, a will be only one only two only three only four please answer this will be one two three so please rectify the question here we have uh, just missed the part of the question so it is the one Two, three, and four. The option will be A. Only one. So please answer only one. B. Only two. C. Only three. And D. All the four. They are asking about the. was is strongly opposed by the paria so it is only the brahminical dem, dem, uh, domination that was opposed otherwise he was promoting for the nationalism he was atheist and he was socialistic because he was talking about the welfare state and uh, yes the uh, special care for the marginalized section so a will be the correct answer next question Paria's ideas and activism played a significant role in shaping of the political landscape of the which of the indian state Karnataka, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala. So, what will be the answer? The correct answer for this is the Tamil Nadu. Here we know that the DMK and A, DMK and AIDMK, AIDMK, all they were formed on the ideology of the Periyar, the self-respect movement, and they still follow the same ideology. Question number five. Which of the following criteria? Consider following criteria. A student living away from their hometown. media personal covering only day activism covering polling day activism c general public residing outside the country d individual between age 16 and 80s how many of the above criteria are made uh, made as eligibility for postal ballot into the upcoming lok sabha election as per the recent extension of the election commission so again here need the modification this is one This is two. This is three. This is four. And the option A is again only one. Only two. B is the only two. C is the only three. D is the 
all the four all the four okay so here it is talking about the criteria are made eligible of for the postal ballot okay so how many of them so media person only the student they are not okay they are the service person like though they are involved in the metro and railway general public residing outside country no no it is for the 85 and it is for the uh, vote from the home uh, if you will talk about the elderly people so this is also incorrect so the correct answer for this again is the a only one okay next question traditional method for determining agile uh, directine content in the neem involves visual inspection of the fruit high performance liquid chromatography hplc measuring the fruit size soil testing so which one of the this is the correct we already have studied it is the b that is the correct okay next question what is the primary application of azadictin fertilizer biopesticide and antibiotics biofuel so the correct answer again is the biopesticide already we have studied next question azadictin is a key metabolitic found in which part of the neem okay so it is simply in the bar leaf fruits and root so you can confuse with the leaves but it is not correct the correct answer is the fruit so this will be the correct answer okay so c will be the correct answer so this is all about from the two days news we have covered most of the relevant area here we will conclude our session thank you for joining the session all the best jai hind